When my son was 17, he volunteered at our local fire department. I saw my son overnight become a committed young adult, compassionate about what he was doing. He, like many young adults, didn't know what he wanted to do with his life. He not only volunteered at our local fire department, he also volunteered as an EMT, where he met his future wife, Tina. Because of his volunteering experience, he got a full-time job at Underwood Hospital as a critical care tech, and now is going to school to be a nurse. As a parent, I am very proud of the son, husband, and father Jim has become today. Today, I'm asking you to step up and volunteer at your local fire department. The experience could change your life. My name is Keith Campbell, Chairman of the Board at Mannington Mills. I represent the fourth generation of family ownership here at Mannington. In our 93 year history, on two occasions, our plants have burned right to the ground. One, the original one, in Salem, and then in 1933, a very devastating fire here at our Mannington site. Fire prevention is all about the history of Mannington. Those devastating fires almost wiped us out. We work very diligently with our local first response team through Mannington and the Salem Fire de uh, Departments, Quinton, Alloway, Elsinboro. All of them work with us in order when we do have a fire, and indeed there have been some, we are able to extinguish one quickly and safely. I ask you to join a local fire department. Our communities throughout Salem County depend upon our local fire departments and first responders. Our 800 employees here at Mannington depend upon our first responders when, and indeed it can happen, we have a fire again. And certainly, we are not going to have it burned to the ground. Thank you. I feel very privileged to be asked to speak this evening as a United Way professional as a wife of a military chaplain, as the daughter of a decorated Marine, as the mother of two sons who went off to the military, and as a longtime Red Cross volunteer, I am well aware of the importance of volunteering. Also the history of our country. This is a country that was founded by volunteers. Our founding fathers came together as volunteers. People built houses, they put out fires, they helped their neighbor as volunteers. There was a Frenchman back in the colonial days who came over to try to find out what this strange place called America was. And he went back and he told his countrymen that he had found a very odd thing. And to this day, the French don't have volunteer charities. But he said, this is a country that their strength is because they help one another. That no one who asks for help is turned down. But he gave a warning. And I will tell you Alexis de Tocqueville's warning because I think it says a lot for what we're trying to do here tonight. He said if America ever lost that sense of volunteerism, of caring for their neighbor, of reaching out and doing things, then it would be a lost country, that it would no longer be America. So I have to thank every single volunteer fireman, every single volunteer in our community for keeping our country strong. And I have to add a little thank you too because my two sons when they were teenagers decided when they did french fries instead to french fry my, french fry my newly decorated kitchen and uh, without you guys it would have been a whole loss of a house and my children so thank you